Okay, this is a tutorial on the grip of the sword. Watch very carefully. I want you guys to take these three fingers. You see this line here where the finger meets? You place the sword handle right here where the finger meets. Not here, not on the finger, but right where the fold is. That's where you place it here. And then you take your three fingers and wrap and pull it towards the palm. So this is a natural grip. This hand on the top, this is the most important. This thing is called the butt of the hand. Now, just like when a person sits on a chair, their butt shows like this. Now this butt has to show. The reason is, if you hold it like this, this is only allowing the thumb to hold down the whole entire sword. But if you take the butts and go over the sword and then put your hand, you have an alignment with the bone and the sword. And with your strong grip here, when you throw down your whole entire body and the alignment of the arm goes behind the sword. If it's slightly this way, you're using your thumb and the fat part of the thumb muscle to hold it down, which is incorrect. What you have to do is take the palm and come over on the inside, line it up with the body and your three fingers here. Natural grip, don't worry about the butt, just hold strong here. Top part is where you have to take the butt of the hand or the bottom part of the palm. Go over like somebody sitting down on a seat, throw your thumb over right here. This is your grip. When you're doing this and you flip over, it becomes a tire body strength motion. But if you hold it natural and you do this, it's more of a work to pull up. But when you align your hands this way and grip it this way, you step and do this, you'll have great leverage and you'll have more power, okay? Try that. One more time, on the fold of the hand, place it here, grip strong. This here, these two palms go over on the line, has to go over with your thumb, making your arm align with the blade. Not offline, but online. And this is your grip, just like this, okay? From here, when you chop down on something, your whole body weight and the alignment gets behind the sword, allowing great power. If you do this, it's just arm power, gives at the thumb and at the wrist. So you want to line up your arm behind the sword with a good grip back here and it becomes alignment. Thank you all for watching. Please rate and comment. Your ratings and comments means a lot to me. And God bless you whole entire family. We'll see you guys next time.